Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any misses. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, so as I always suggest you guys to be strong enough in technical analysis, but when it comes to technical analysis, there are various ways of using the technicals, right? So what I mean to say here is there are some technicals that you just need to plot on the charts and then you can analyze them. Whereas on the other hand, there are other technicals that you manually have to draw on the charts in order to analyze them. And post that also, you need to keep uh, changing or redrawing them when the candlestick swings happen. Okay, now one such technical that I'm talking about here are the channels. So channels are basically a drawing tool that is used for technical analysis and is provided by almost all the brokers on their respective trading terminals. And channels are basically used to see where the stock or an indice is taking a support or facing a resistance. Okay, and again, let me remind you guys that everything that we do in the trading world is absolutely dependent on where the stock price is getting the support and where is it facing a resistance. And almost all the technical indicators are, and oscillators are built and intended to tell us this very thing. So channels are no exception. They also help us to determine the support and resistance as well. Okay, so in this video, we will see some of the aspects of using channels, like how to use the channels, where to use them, whether you should be using them or not, and other stuffs that are related to it. Okay, now another perspective uh, to channels is that uh, whether should we use trend lines or channels? There is a lot of confusion or I would say there is a lot of comparison between trend lines and channels and especially this comes from the guys who are new to trading. So I would say both of them serve the same purpose because if you draw three trend lines slanting in the same direction and equidistant from each other, then it becomes a channel itself. OK, so what you are using is always not important. How are you using it is what makes all the difference. OK, please do remember this. And uh, uh, because if you have an indicator, simply going ahead and plotting it on the charts will not fetch you with money. You need to know the exact usage of that particular indicator. 
you need to play around with the values and the parameters that are there in that indicator to see which value reacts the best to the price movements when you are day trading okay and there are a lot more to it but uh, which needs to be changed before uh, finally uh, you approve that particular indicator to be used in real time okay so the how factor is the thing on which you should focus on okay so having that said first thing first let's get on to the charts and let's see how do we draw a channel okay all right so this is okay let me remove this particular drawing here okay so this is uh, nifty's uh, one day chart as you can see on the left bottom corner here okay it is nifty's one day chart and if you want to draw a channel okay you need to select a swing low and you need to connect it to the recent top so uh, let me bring in the pen here okay so this is the swing low right this point and the top that has been made is here so we need to draw a channel in a way that it touches at least two spots at the lower end let's say this this and this minimum two so either it can be this or this or this or this or even this or this okay so as i said trend lines if you draw three trend lines it becomes a channel right so here also we are doing the same thing the lower trend line of the channel should be touching at least two points and the upper okay and the upper trend line should be also touching uh, two of the points either of them here okay so let me draw it and you'll be more clearer on what i'm saying okay so in order to draw a channel you need to so again this is uh, the trading view terminal which is used by me for my technical analysis and in order to draw a channel you have to go here and click on parallel channel okay and click on the swing low make sure that it touches at least uh, two candles the candles can be it, it might be touching the body of the candle or the wick of the candle doesn't matter and you need to stretch it all the way till the last candle and then you extend it and make sure that it touches at least two of the candles on the upper side okay as uh, so let me bring in the drawing tool again here all right so here it is it is touching this one and this one and this blue line that you see here is the lower uh, trend line you can say right and the upper one is the upper trend line and it has to touch at least two points from these candles so in this example it is touching these two points and this is how a channel is being drawn okay so when you draw a channel again you get a dotted line like in this tool it is a dotted line you might get a solid line as well so, but this middle line is something which you get in a channel by default okay now coming on to the usage of the channel okay as i said earlier we draw a channel to know where a particular stock or an indice is uh, taking a support or facing a resistance okay now okay even before i go ahead with that uh, as i said you need to initiate drawing the channel from the swing low so make sure like swing low is one option the second option is you can take the starting of the week okay so this is 20th june 2022 right this candle it is a one day candle this candle is for 20th june the previous candle is for 17th june so 18th june and 19th june were weekends right so always try to initiate a channel at the starting of the week or at the starting of the month so the reason why i selected this swing low was because it was the starting of the week that is uh, that was monday that is 20th of june let me uh, cross verify once again 20th of june was monday or not yes 20 uh, 20th of june was a monday okay so it was the starting of the week that is the reason why i selected the low of this uh, candle to initiate the channel 
okay that is one point and as i said the second point is you can choose any of the swing lows as well okay so i hope you're clear how to draw a channel okay now as you can see here all the three lines will act as supports and resistances so the stock can come till here and go back the stocks can come till the middle line and go back and the stocks can also come to the lower line and move up so in this case we don't have a scenario wherein the upper trend line is being touched you can have a look on the middle trend line right the dotted line that you see here every time the stock prices went there it faced a resistance at the middle line and came down again it went to the middle of the uh, of the trend line came down so it is facing a resistance here it is facing a resistance here it is facing a support here it is uh, getting a support here as well okay so this candle was the one which actually breached the middle trend line and moved up further so what is the present scenario here the present scenario today's scenario is that nifty is facing a resistance at the upper trend line so if nifty wants to go up then it has to breach this trend line and then it can start moving up further okay now i was talking about uh, redrawing or changing the trend line now what was i talking about let me explain that real quick okay now let's say that nifty breached this particular trend line and moved up as you see uh, with the yellow lines here now at that day on that particular day let's say uh, on um, what is the date today uh, 10th of august let's say on 30th of august nifty has reached this spot so you have to redraw the trend line and take it up till 30th of august you cannot depend on this trend line that we have drawn today okay you have to redraw it you have to extend the trend line till here so when you extend the trend line it might be the case that the support and resistance points that were earlier present inside the trend line they change most of the time they will change so that that, that is the reason that was the exact reason why i mentioned that you have to redraw the channels if you are a big fan of channels okay so that is something which needs to be done right so this is how you draw it okay this is how you draw it this is how you analyze the candlestick movement within the channel okay all uh, right so now uh, so i hope now you are clear how you should be drawing the channel and uh, i'm sorry guys just a moment i have a live position in crude oil it's already trading at 7060 i had taken a position at 7014 so let me just go ahead and book my profits give me 30 seconds here please okay just a moment all right great thank you so much for the time okay all right so uh, i'm out of the trade now and let's continue with the topic okay let me move this here all right so i hope now you're clear how you should be drawing the channel and how to analyze them okay now coming to another important question should we use channels at the first place well see in trading there is nothing like a good thing or a bad thing if a technical fetches you with profits then it becomes good for you and at the other end if a technical makes you face losses then it becomes a bad thing for you okay so the point is the habit or the practice that you develop over the period of time makes you comfortable with a particular technical so let me put my perspective to this question and answer it so according to me if you are into day trading then you can avoid using channels don't use them and i'm saying it for a reason in day trading it's always required to use technicals that do not need human intervention so if you use channels the reading of the channel will keep changing as the candles move throughout the day so uh, the the thing that i just explained on the charts 
right? So you need to redraw the channel every now and then. Now, this is something that is not practically possible if you are day trading. Okay, if you dig a bit deeper, we have some technicals that repaint themselves according to the candlesticks movements. Okay, now, though they are good, it becomes more tough for traders to use them in the live market because the readings will keep changing. Hence, I do not recommend such technicals. So this was with respect to day trading. But things are really different when we are into swing or positional trading because here we have a whole lot of time to draw the channels and analyze the stuffs at our convenience. Because normally if we are into swing trading or positional trading, we do, we do the analysis by the end of the day data, by taking the end of the day data when the candlesticks are not moving. Okay, so channels work well in those trading styles. So the baseline is avoid using channels if you are day trading and you can very well use the channels if you are somebody who is into swing trading or positional trading. Okay, so check it out for yourself guys. The final call is always yours. So make sure to back up your decisions with some logical thinking to make your trades stress-free. Okay, my job is to let you know what the options are and how to use them. Now, whether to use them or not is absolutely your decision. Okay, so that's it from my end guys. And for the guys who have not watched my previous video, I have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video, the eye symbol that you see there, you can click on it and watch my previous video. And as always, we request you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get some more details about HYIT that might be helpful to you in some way or the other. And please feel free to ask your questions or queries, if any, in the comment section and I will surely reply back to them. And also, please do not forget to like this video if you liked it. So that's all from my end. I'll see you all later. Hope you all will stick back. Happy trading and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.